Today, we are taking a look at the technical aspect of the desktop planted aquarium. But before we get into that, let's have a quick update on this aquarium, because I've added some new plants that I think you're gonna like. As you've seen, I've kept up basic tank maintenance, such as doing the water changes and cleaning the glass frequently so that I can keep on seeing the nice aquascape. I have also been trimming the Monte Carlo carpet and the pearlweed in the back. I have added some Phoenix moss or Physidens fontanus to this aquarium and then there next to it is the new plant. It is a Anubias bonsai. This is very rare and thanks to a friend I got a very small piece but it's growing nicely and has pushed new leaves since I've added it. And yes, you've guessed it, I did add another Bucephalandra to this aquarium, specifically Bucephalandra Malawi Green, and it has pushed new leaves and is very happy within this aquarium. And there where I put it, it fits in perfectly with this scape. But let's get into the technical aspects now, as I've had many questions about what exactly is happening in this tank and how I keep it so clean and running so nicely. The back panel of this aquarium is actually where I hide my sump. I use a dark green piece of glass to build the sump from, so that it is hidden behind it and you can't see it right through the display, because I think that would mess up this nice aquascape. For the inflow and outflow of this sump, I drilled holes through the glass to stop any splashing. It did give me some problems, but I just cover up the holes with some filter floss so that the fish and shrimp doesn't climb into the sump continuously. I just put this loose piece of wood over the sump to stop lights from entering it and algae from growing there. As you can see, this is not the traditional up and over sump. This is a bit different. Specifically, the water is flowing through the sump without any up and down motion. But within the sump, you will still find the filter floss, the sponge and the ceramic media. This keeps the aquarium clean and enough space for the bacteria to grow. There is a heater within this sump but I don't even use it because it's too warm in summer and it never switches on, so I've just unplugged it completely. I had a lot of questions as to what lighting system I'm using. Well, I'm using two basic 5 watt LED downlighters, one of 2700 Kelvin and one of 6500 Kelvin, and this is giving me excellent growth within the aquarium. I am supplying this aquarium with some CO2 during the day, but it's nothing fancy, it's just the basic sugar and yeast method, and it is working like a dream. And that is the technical aspects of the desktop planted aquarium. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comments below, then I'll get back to you. Otherwise, share this video with a friend and hit that subscribe button, then I will see you next time.